Amit, the enforcement directorate heat uh, that is now against Arvind Kejriwal and under the radar of the ED with regard to the liquor policy scam case. There's a schedule that's come in for Arvind Kejriwal. Well, we're being told that um, Ahmadmi Party's national convener will be heading to Goa on an election trip. So this is uh, with regard to party's election prospects now in the state of Goa. Arvind Kejriwal will be heading there from 18th to 20th January. So about two to three days of official visit. But this is exactly on the day when ED has summoned the Delhi CM, who's also AAP convener, on 18th of January for questioning. So will he let go of the official trip to Goa ahead of elections or will he decide to attend the ED summon? It is the fourth ED summon and he's already said no to three. Amit Bhardwaj closely tracking Delhi politics here. Amit, what have been the reasons for the three summons that he's not responded to in person while he said I'm always available for cooperating with the investigators and the big question will he choose Goa's official visit or the ED summit? Ashtosh Ji Ji Ashtosh Dekhi uh, Aaj Saadhe Gyaara Baje So trouble appears to be clearly mounting for Ahmadmi Party convener, who's also the Delhi chief minister. The ED has issued, this is the fourth summon for Arvind Kejriwal, asking him to appear on 18th January in the Delhi excise policy investigation. Now, the catch here is, on the same day, Delhi CM, who's also AAP's national convener, has been scheduled to go for a three-day Goa official tour, starting 18th January and will last till 20th January. According to Delhi government, he will be in Goa, in that time to take uh, stock of the Lok Sabha election preparation for the Aam Admi Party's prospects. But this then raises question, will, will he be able to go to the ED in person for the fourth summon as not or not that will be happening this time? Delhi CM has already skipped three previous summons from the Enforcement Directorate in connection with the excise policy case. Now, remember the AAP has been accusing the BJP-led government at the centre and are claiming that this is deliberate political vendetta against them. Central agencies are being deliberately pushed against them to harass opposition leaders. Now, the Bharatiya Janata Party has in turn slammed Ahmadmi Party, accusing them of clearly running away from the investigation at this hour. Fourth summon, remember two of his close associates, former Minister Manish Sisodia, Member of Parliament Sanjay Singh, already have been behind bars. Shriman Arvind Kejriwal. बड़ी बड़ी बातें करते थे और मैं मीडिया के मित्रों को कहता हूं कि पुराने वीडियोस निकाल के दिखाइए जो कांग्रेस के भ्रष्टाचार के खिलाफ उस समय अपनी आवाज उठाने की बात करते थे आज वो भ्रष्टाचार के दलदल में डूबे हुए हैं और जब जांच होती है तो जान से भागने का काम करते हैं ऐसा कोई बचा नहीं जिसको अरविंद केजरीवाल की पार्टी ने ठगा नहीं अरविंद केजरीवाल ने जो आज रिएक्ट किया है अफसोसजनक है हर बार जांच से भागने का रास्ता ढूंढते हैं अब जैसे ही चौथा सम्मान आया है तो उन्होंने कहा है कि मैं तो गोवा के ट्रिप पर हूं मतलब आप राजनीतिक पर्यटन करेंगे लेकिन जांच से भागेंगे क्योंकि आपने चोरी की है आपका जवाब देने से डर लगता है आपने शराब नीति में घोटाला किया है तब तक भागेंगे आप हर बार बहाना बनाते हैं अरे आप मुख्यमंत्री आपने संविधान की शपथ ली है खड़े होकर कानून की शपथ ली है कि मैं कानून के नियमों का पालन करूंगा जांच एजेंसी आपको सम्मान दे रही है अगर आप ईमानदार हैं तो जाके बात कीजिए अपने साक्ष्य रखिए मिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल हैज बीन इशूड द समन्स फॉर द फोर्थ टाइम एज पर द मीडिया रिपोर्ट्स टुडे द क्वेश्चन इज दैट आफ्टर स्किपिंग द फर्स्ट थ्री समन्स मेकिंग अ बहाना ऑफ बीइंग अ स्टार प्रचारक वेयर दे लॉस्ट ऑल देयर डिपॉजिट्स ऑन द सीट्स देन ही मेड द बहाना ऑफ विपासना देन ही सेड इट इज पॉलिटिकल वेंडेटा यू हैव समथिंग टू हाइड बिकॉज़ यू आर द किंग पिन ऑफ द शराब घोटाला you must present yourself to the agencies like you demanded when you were with anna azare at that time you used to say first resign then there will be investigation today you are not ready to cooperate with investigation because from anna azare you have now gone to lalu prasad yadav this is the siyasi dharmantaran that has taken place 
बहुत शर्मनाक बात है कि आदरणीय मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जांच से भाग रहे हैं आप अगर कट्टर ईमानदार हैं, आपका बेदाग दामन है तो जाइए जांच में जुड़िए दूध का दूध और पानी का पानी हो जाएगा लेकिन जब जब आप निरादन करते हैं समन का तो आप भी विवश करते हैं कि ये जांच एजेंसियां आपके द्वार तक आए मुझे ऐसा लगता है जैसे आप चाहते हैं कि ये जांच एजेंसियां आपके द्वार तक आए ताकि आप एक विक्टम कार्ड प्ले कर सके And the concern is very real. Remember, because of Manish Sisodia, who is the former minister of Delhi government, a close aide, in fact, the closest aide to Arvind Kejriwal, has been behind bars on this whole liquor policy issue for months now. So is uh, Sanjay Singh. He's been a member of parliament. Two very important persons around Arvind Kejriwal ever since the Amadi Party had started. Let's go across to Shreya Chatterji. She's joining me in this telecast this afternoon. Shreya, you tell us why does the Enforcement Directorate think that at this time Arvind Kejriwal needs to Uh, respond to a summon why is he a part of this whole investigation well first and foremost there are certain investigation details that the enforcement directorate has is why uh, he is been called uh, for the summon in the liquor policy scam now initially in the chart sheet that the ed has uh, registered uh, puja we had very categorically seen that there was a clear direction uh, or an observation that was actually mentioned that one of the accused uh, who is samir mahendru in his statement suggested that uh, arvin kejriwal had allegedly face timed him suggesting that vijay nair was his man and he should be trusted in this entire case so that is one reason that they are calling in arvin kejriwal to get better details of it he had also held a meeting with one of the mp's down south uh, in this alleged scam as well in the national capital that's the second reason now the third is remember the entire scam the allegation suggests that the kickbacks that were actually received were used for election funding now aam aadmi party is the party's election funding is what we're talking about arvin kejriwal is a convener of the party so that is reason why the enforcement directorate wants to question him thrice he has evaded the summons uh, last time he though suggested that he wants to cooperate it will be interesting to see whether he appears or not but if not we will see more summons being issued and also there are two more options for the ed one is landing up at the residence of arun kejriwal and questioning him and second obviously is moving court to seek an nbw very interesting shreya chatterjee will be tracking the latest in the big question as arvind kejriwal is scheduled to be heading to goa for an official visit ahead of elections will he attend to that visit or in person to the ed summons and we'll be tracking all the latest on that